always wake up so late, bro. Get up from bed. Pleasure. That's what the modern man always seeks. Pleasure. The feeling of being comforted. Pleasure is a way to escape into euphoria. A way to escape out of our reality of staying mediocre. A life of being average. Not pushing to be the best. Pleasure. Just about what keeps us temporarily distracted in our permanently depressing lives. Life is so ironic, right? We seek so much pleasure and yet we become so depressed as a result. And we seek so much pain, but we grow stronger and mature as a result. Allah is truly the best of platters. All right, so we're about to race. Me and my little, my, my little cousin. This is what life's about, bro. It's not about sitting at your home, it's scrolling your life away, all right? Have some fun. Let's go. Three. Three. Two. One. For the longest time, I thought it would be like corny just Ooh. to go outside or oh, I have video games to play. This is life, man. Just experiencing Allah's creation. Honestly, one of the most beautiful things. I know it's... I don't always go outside. This isn't me like all the time. Oh, look at me. I go outside. But this is making me realize that I need to be outside more. <laughs> We're living in a generation where being outside is considered abnormal. We just sit at home all day. No wonder why, no wonder why we're all depressed. I swear, depression can be fixed in just two weeks if we just live life how humans used to live we don't live like regular humans anymore bro we live like we live like social media junkies so i'm telling you this is this is what makes us stronger human beings الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فارجع البصر هل ترى من فطور We're going to welcome back to another video today We're going to be reading Meditation by Marcus Aurelius Very good video, very good book So thank you for watching Okay, so I don't really know what's happening with my hair situation Last video, my hair was messed up because I woke up from bed This video, I don't really want to speak about it But my mom cut my hair and let's just say I could have just gone bald instead. And so I decided to cover my hair and I look like, I don't know, I look like a homeless guy right now. I look like, I don't know what I look like, but just get the message, okay? We're talking about a very important message here. All right, let's get to the topic of this video. This video is not about meditations by Marcus Aurelius. This video is about, I think Muslims are actually becoming so much weaker than I expected. This sounds like I'm making fun of the Ummah. I'm not, but, Let's be honest here, if you, if you interview or if you ask like a Muslim, a random Muslim teenager, they're gonna be a little weird, like not weird, <laughs> this sounds really bad, but they're not weird, but they're just like Jeffries, right? They're, they're just like, they think it's weird to work out or they think it's weird to be disciplined. They're not disciplined at all. Most Muslim teenagers our age, 20 years old, 19 years old, they're not mature. And I'm not saying this as a person, as, as a mature person. I'm, no, I'm nowhere near where I want to be. Let me get that clarified. Like, I'm not acting out of arrogance. I'm just seeing, I'm just saying what I see, 
right? And as someone who's been on self-improvement for more than a year, who's gone from literally being in depression, like literally just like self-stimulating myself every single day, I hated my life. I was in a very darkness. I felt lazy. I didn't do anything out of my life. My life was complete just darkness to pretty much, you know, really taking responsibility and becoming more of a disciplined person. I, I do see that most Muslim teenagers are not, they're not mature. And they rather, like, there's a meme going on. Imagine if you start a war right now with like the US population. Most of them are so fixated on their feelings and they're so, they don't really understand reality. Like they're so fixated on playing their next video game that if you started a war with, the, with this US army, like they would have, you know what I mean? Like we're living in a very, very, very weird generation, a very emotional generation where the men, especially is infiltrating the Muslim population. A lot of us are just very unmotivated. We're lazy, we're depressed. We have nothing in our lives. And yet we still, just live life like, like we still live like social media junkies. We still scroll all day. We still, you know, we like we want to wake up early, but we still end up sleeping at like two a.m., three a.m. We want to be healthy and fit, but we still eat trash food and and whatever. And we skip the gym. We're not disciplined, and and then we complain how our life is so bad. We're truly living in a generation where Muslims don't really know how important and how powerful the Islamic lifestyle is. If we only knew how the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, used to live, if we only knew what the Sahaba and how they lived, we would be like, wow. <laughs> like we would actually be so, so surprised. And we would be like, okay, that's why they were successful. That's why they were strong. That's why they were masculine. That's why they were whatever, insert whatever here. Bro, most men are so depressed in these ages. You don't even understand. Men are suiciding four times more than women. Men are feeling disenfranchised. They are not respected in their households and any age range. It's because we've become so weak and the way we become so weak is by feeling comfortable all the time. We have to understand that the reason why we're so weak is because we're always comfortable. And when you're always in a sort of comfort state, when you've never pushed your boundaries, when you've never felt level, a level of pain, you will always stay soft and like, just like being comforted, right? There's a reason why we have something called man child. I don't know if you saw this, but there's a very famous YouTube TV show. Not even a TV show, but it's where this guy called Skippy, right? My boy Skippy. Skippy's sick. But <laughs> well, Skippy, this guy called Skippy is like a 40 or uh, like 30 year old virgin. This guy literally looks like he's eight years old, but like just like, in f okay, I don't want to make fun of him, but you know what I mean, right? So he's pretty much like a man child. He lives in his mother's basement. He, I don't know what he does for work, but he pretty much gets still at the age of 34, taking care of his everything by his mom. Like his mom takes care of everything to the point where this guy's 34 years old, a virgin, and he has a girlfriend. And you know what? One day he figures out, I got to get a girlfriend, bro. This is too late. This is becoming too much. So he went to his mom for help to get a girlfriend. He is so childlike, so emotional. He acts like a child because he's never felt a level of pain. You always see it in movies, right? You always see this in movies. Whenever Superman or whenever Batman, whenever they become from weak to powerful, whenever they go from a weak person to a hero, they go through so much pain. The best example for me is, is Naruto or it's Demon Slayer, right? For example, that's the best one. If you watch the anime Demon Slayer, by the way, one of the best animes, but in that anime, the main character, Tanjiro, right? This kid didn't know how to fight. This kid just was a regular kid. I don't know, just a regular kid, right? And then all of a sudden, the demons attacked his parents and whatever, whatever, whatever. His entire family died except his sister. And then he finally felt some level of pain in his life. And this is like next level pain. This is the pain that we, of course, don't want. But whatever Allah wills, right? Either way, after a while, he started getting stronger. He started to learn how to fight. He went through the pains and tribulations of not knowing how to swing a sword. Whatever, whatever, whatever. And now he's like one of the strongest people even though he's still like a pretty young guy in the anime. I know he's, this is an anime, but this, is, this reflects real life. In order to grow, we must go through pain. Literally, it's in our bodies. When Allah designed your body, and this is sick, right? When Allah designed your body, we have something called the growth pain. This is what we experience when we go through puberty, right? Whenever our bones and stuff, like whenever we get longer, not longer, whenever we get taller and whenever our muscles start growing, we go through something called growth pains. Growth pains, it's just the pain that comes from growing. 
like legitimately just literally growing. So when you get taller, you get you start feeling growth pains because you're growing. It's the same thing with life. Whenever you want to be more mature or whenever you want to be more successful, you have to go through pain. And everyone hears this, but no one takes this advantage. The reason why we have so much weak Muslim people today is because we're literally experiencing zero pain. Our life is so comfortable. And although as cliche as this sounds, this is the truth. And now you might be wondering, okay, you've been speaking about pains for a long time. How is this happening? Like, how are people being affected by this or who is doing this it's pretty obvious who's doing this it's the people that want to bring muslims down that want to make the, the population weak and it's conspiracy as you can as you can think this is we can see it with the people of Palestine. like our brothers and sisters of Palestine are literally being destroyed by this specific group of people that also control everything else to destroy the rest of the population you see these people are honestly they worship shaitan and what's what's really scary is the fact that People speak up against them and then they go to the, they go to jail literally like two days later, three days later. And so we're li- literally fighting a clear enemy here. And it's, wallahi, it's actually scary. It's actually so scary. This enemy is literally controls the, all the media that we scroll on. This enemy has planned everything from like years ago to make us weak so they can be the power of the world. Because let's say like we're, we're if we're strong Muslim people, uh, we're going to definitely want to fight against this, right? There's only like a few of us that are speaking against this, right? We're here with no purpose. Most Muslim kids are have no purpose. They don't want to be the best version of themselves. And yet, they're still depressed. They're still depressed. They still don't want to do anything. Like, they want to improve. They want to improve, but they just don't know how or they don't have the motivation or they just stick to their old ways. And this is why I want to emphasize the importance of finding a purpose. And not only that, but truly like, bro, we're fighting enemies right now. We, we're in an active war. We're in a psychological warfare. You might have heard a lot of people say this, like Andrew Tate and many other influencers. We are fighting a psychological war right now with all of these other entities that want us to be down, that want to destroy us. This, is, this isn't conspiracy theory. And so the people that just like, they want to improve, you know, they, those guys, they want to improve, they want to get better, but they just don't have the motivation or whatever. Those guys are so oblivious to the fact that they're, they're going to go down. Like they're going to live the mediocre life for the rest of them for the rest of their lives if they don't do anything about it. If they don't do something right now to improve their lives, that people that want to improve but then they have no motivation and then they're waiting for like the right moment, those guys will legitimately never find that right moment. And first of all, why are they deserving of it? If they were like you know those guys that don't want to do anything with their lives, why would Allah give them unless unless Allah wills? But why would Allah give them all the success in this life when they don't deserve it? Allah helps those that help themselves. My advice. To be to, to the people that like that are living in depression, that are living in darkness, that are living lazy, you know, like they want to improve, they want to live good, but they're destroying themselves with bad habits every single day. They live with shame and guilt. They're they're not respected. Like, if you want to do something about that, you have to take some level of action for yourself. That primarily means taking some pain, experiencing pain for the first time. I'm telling you right now, that's the best thing you can do. It's not about having the best morning routine. It's not about this because you have to show yourself first that you did something. And the way you can do that is by experiencing some level of pain. Anything that is, bro. If, if that is just doing push-ups every single morning for like, like doing five to 10 push-ups every single morning, even if you don't know how to do them properly. What that's going to do is, okay, maybe you can do them right now. But two or three days later, when you wake up, you're going to be like, oh, I don't want to do push-ups. But if you were able to do those push-ups anyway, then that's boom. You just became more disciplined. And all of a sudden, the more stuff like this you do, the more small habits you implement into your life. You do 10 push-ups in the morning. You wake up and make your bed. You do this. You do that. You write on your journal. Maybe you do some work, some school studying for just for 30 minutes in the morning. The more small things you do, over time, you'll start to see yourself as a more disciplined person. The little action, if you take that one step and you continue it for like two weeks, you're going to become a different version to yourself right now. You're going to be someone who's actually more disciplined because you are. You wake up and you do push-ups every single day. How many people in the world do that? Most people wake up groggy because they can't. They didn't sleep at night. Most people wake up depressed because they have to go through. They have to go to their job that they hate. So if you do that and just wake up on a in a purposeful way, your way and your purpose is to become the most disciplined version and the best version of yourself where you can wake up happy you can wake up proud you can wake up just like i'm on a mission 
I'm, I want to do something with my life. I felt that when I woke up and destroyed my depression. You will feel like you're on a mission. You will feel like you're doing something good in this life. You're doing something for the, for the people of follow scene. You're improving for them. You're doing it for Allah. You want to get to Jannah. You want to be the best man you can be. You, can, you want to be the best female you can be. You want to be the warriors of Allah. And I'm telling you right now, that starts with taking that one action. It's not about doing the biggest things. It's not about going through and reading this book. It's about doing something that's small, but that's also like if you find it a little hard and doing that for the next two and three weeks continuously, you will start to see yourself as a more disciplined person. If you just make your bed every single morning for just just make it for the rest of your life. Just be like, bro, making your bed literally takes two or three minutes, not even like one minute. Just do that. <laughs> and then you'll start to see yourself as a more organized person because you make your bed and then you're going to add more habits like, you know what? I'm just going to eat some good food in the morning. I'm not going to be scrolling on social media right in the morning. I'm not going to be going watching random YouTube videos right in the morning. And then you'll just start to become more disciplined. You start to become more mentally resilient. And then you'll do some other stuff like starting, you know, some work to do. Like you're going to study this time without any distractions. And the more you put yourself through pain, the more your brain gets used to it and the more you're able to handle. That's how it works. It's sort of like a ripple effect. And I'm telling you, if we do this, you will be the best version of yourself. I can already feel it, bro. The fact that you're watching this video and you're watching it at this time tells me everything. So you have to be the best version of yourself. I know you can become the best version of yourself. If you like the message I'm sharing about Islamic discipline and Islamic masculinity, then join my Discord server in the description down below. Meet other people. And I want to one day, all of us standing around in a circle, the most jacked version of herself, the most proud version of herself, the best warrior versions of herself ever. This will be a ripple effect. This will be a change in history. This will be a movement because other people are going to see us. Other people are going to see us improving our lives. Other people are going to see us as role models, as heroes, and then they're going to implement their stuff and then they're going to become better. And then more people are going to implement. <laughs> so it's like a ripple effect. It's only going to happen if you decide to start becoming disciplined by doing some, by doing one thing that's hard for like two or three weeks straight. I don't think that's that hard. I think you can do that. If you watch YouTube videos every single day, clearly you can implement other habits into your life as well. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for watching. Do something hard right now so your future self can enjoy some pleasure. All right, bye. Assalamu alaikum, bye.